few weeks ago, Nick sold his lovely Volvo S60R and found himself behind the wheel of this 94 Acura Vigor, and he decided that he wanted to have some fun with it before he picks up his next daily. So, today we're working on our little 1994 Acura Vigor, which is a car that uh, I am driving in the meantime while I find another vehicle. Um, so, I decided to have a little fun with it. And I found these coil over sleeves that says that it lowers your car anywhere from one to three inches drop from factory. These were only $60. And it comes with all four springs with some coil over adjustable tubes. And uh, we're gonna <laughs> install these bad boys and see how this goes. So basically what we got here is a spring perch that sits on the top of the spring. Uh, and then you've got your your adjustable spring seat here and this this uh, threaded tube is going to secure to the strut tube and then basically we'll just run this up and down and then we have a jam nut that locks the two together when you set your desired ride height so uh, we are going to make this thing really really low <laughs> and see if we can't ruin the way that it drives it already handles like a boat. Everything inside of me is telling me that this is a bad idea. The front sleeves are installed and they gave us a good amount of drop. The rear sleeves, they're going to give us a little bit of a problem. Look at that spring. The spring doesn't do anything. No, it just goes all the way down. And it basically immediately compresses the spring. Look at that. It's not, it doesn't do anything. Like You'll bottom out the spring before anything else. Front? So, there is no configuration in which this would work. Because, uh, as we found out the hard way, as soon as we put any sort of weight on this spring, the, the diameter of the coil is so small, it won't hold the weight of the car. So, it, it, like, it, it immediately compresses. So, so, sorry Amazon. But we're gonna cut the springs.
So this thing is slammed. <laughs> uh, and you know what? For a car that was only lowered uh, for about $60, it's not half bad. Of course, we were only able to use the front half of the, of the lowering coilover kit, unfortunately, because the rears were just not gonna work. Uh, and the cut springs in the rear are a little bit bouncy and the front's really stiff, so it does feel kind of weird when you're going over speed bumps and things like that, but you know what? If you're gonna cheaply lower your car just to make it look good and drive around, <laughs> I don't recommend it, but it can be done.